What's up guys? So I found another Fry Recycle Miner install. I found this guide that is semi-okay that we're gonna base for what we're doing today. Um, I actually found this on the Discord channel and he actually did this for, I believe it's a satellite miner. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a shot actually. Let's take a look. So on the Discord channel here, if you come into Fry server and check out their Linux chat, I was just in here earlier and searing Kaz, thank you for this uh this upload um yeah he said he set it up for a satellite miner and he basically to make we up to fry and we'll give you the kudos either way i'm gonna go ahead and attempt this install and get this set up on one of my ubuntu servers that i have here Okay, sorry, I had to fix that error that I kept uh, getting with the repositories. All right, so, like I was saying, I want to try to follow this this guide here, edit the guide, correct the guide, and re-upload it to the team so everybody has this um, on their Discord. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. And and check this out. I am not a uh, Linux guru. Um, I, have, I actually had a Dell PowerX server laying around and I wanted to utilize that somehow on the blockchain. So um, I actually did some research and I found a project that I, I really liked um, called the Gotham Project. And um, what it does is it allows providers like myself the, the ability to charge people crypto in order to use the resources on the machines so they're going to join a service where they're paying um and it's almost like a scalable service where let's say they're working on uh, heavy graphics and they need um, a lot of cpu a lot of gpu what um, that service does is it goes to the blockchain and finds these nodes and it uh, and it uses the resources that we provide in order to help that client which i really like that and i uh, set that up a while back and it's just been sitting there providing but i want to do a little bit more it's not every day that that thing is used and i can provide some additional presence on the blockchain another blockchain um providing for fry First step is to go ahead and update everything. Just make sure everything is updated. I did run updates on this not too long ago, so I'm not surprised here. Now it wants us to install the Node.js. Again, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and edit this document, correct it, and um, just um, clean up the format just to make it easier for everybody. Oh, in the meantime, while this is going, I guess we can go ahead and set up a new Para wallet or a new wallet address in Para. So with, with the way Fry works, you can only send or you can only tie one miner to one wallet. But what I like with Para wallet 
is that within my wallet, I can actually create multiple wallets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a third wallet, just going ahead, click next. And I want to create an account. All right, create the passphrase. I'm ready to begin. Now, I got the recovery phrase, I have another. I just gotta copy over these with this recovery phrase. I have a system in place. And then you're gonna name your wallet. I'm just gonna go ahead and name this one Ubuntu. And boom. Once you do that, you go ahead and add the fry. Add the fry, get that approved. I need some more algo, so I need to transfer some algo here. So I'm gonna transfer from, so I have a little bit of algo in one of my other uh, wallets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer between wallets here. Okay, once it's transferred, you're gonna go back to that new wallet. Then you're gonna go ahead, add fry. Simple as that. Now back to this. All right, so now it's gonna ask us to create a folder on the desktop and name it whatever you want. So what we can do is I can come straight here, open in terminal. That's my bad, it's been a while. Okay, so. But come in here. There it is. There's the directory that it's asking me to create. Sorry, I'm taking notes on this side over here. Okay, so make the directory. They didn't add all of this. This is the stuff that I know needs to Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to, I don't, I don't understand if this is gonna even work, but let's go ahead and try this. So it's, W get and it's looking for um this the this file the actual seven zip uh recycle mining software from Fry's foundation it's pointing here to so the archives and see if this actually works oh my god it worked that is pretty solid so here's where it gets a little tricky huh. I'm not exactly sure what to do next. It's, it was kind of confusing here, but it's basically saying I have to unzip that 7-zip. So in order to do that, I'm going to run this code here. So right now I'm going to unzip it. Ah, oh, here we go. I was just missing that Z. Um, would you like to place? Yes. Would you like to replace the existing file name? Main that yes. Full show. Okay, that's why I couldn't find the rest of the files. So. Now we're gonna go ahead and install Algo. The SDK. Now we're going to edit that um, script. Yeah, here we go. 
this looks more like it. Expand a little bit here. My wife calls me blind. Okay, so it's asking us add this line after use strict. Okay, so we're gonna look for use strict, which is at the top. Okay, and it wants us to add global text. Remove that. Let's community here and in this line. We're gonna add that line. I added way too much. I don't need this. It's already there. It's just that one line that needs to be added. Here we go. Now I'm ready to test again. There it is. So it's working. As simple as that. Now I'm gonna take my mnemonic key, wherever I have it. I am going to copy and paste that sucker. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it working, we tested it. Let's go ahead and Add those notes here. Okay, now we have to run a script or we have to create a script to run this. So, 10, let's create. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and create a new um, file in here called nano run for high dot sh. When I add this line here for slash user bin node for slash from dash dash js. Okay, so I've been struggling with this uh, piece of code here for a little while, this script. And I'm scratching my head. So I'm, not, I'm not the best at this. I'm a noob. Let's just be honest. Um, but one thing I'm not a noob at is ChatGPT. What? Why, why, why haven't I been using this? So let me just show you what I did. So I brought over a little ChatGPT magic here. All right. It should have sprang over. I don't need most of the screen here, right? So I went ahead and I paste the lines here in ChatGPT. And <laughs> it broke it down for me. So it's basically telling me I need to change the contents of this script to this because it is a node.js. What I have is basically running it just as node. So when I come in here. Okay, so it wants me to it's gonna kind of go ahead and copy code this code and I'm going to go ahead and just delete this content here. And then I am gonna go ahead and paste that piece of code there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. If this works, I'm gonna have to say I love AI a little more today than I did yesterday. Ah. It's a thing of beauty. That makes me extremely happy. So now we can move on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and correct this document here. Stand by.
Okay, that's better. They did that. Now make that file executable. Start that again. Let's go ahead and test it. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, now the next step is to make sure that we let it run every hour and the hour. Step 15 here. And that should be it. Now all you have to do is go ahead and uh, go to Fry Foundation's website. And... and so now you gotta go to the Fry Foundation and go recycle free tier registration. You're gonna come in here and put in your information here, your address um, to your your wallet, your MAC address of uh, your device and your email. I'm going to go ahead, copy the Mac. Go ahead and type in my email on a separate page. Able. <laughs> and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Once you register, you'll get this window that you know, thank you. Make sure you have enough algo for gas. Fry Crypto doesn't really require a lot of algo, so I only have a few bucks in each account to just handle all of that and that is it so on my documentation there's a few edits that i made let's take a look from the original and i will edit a few more things here but just giving it the look that you really need here in order for um it just to simplify it just so anybody can grab this document and not really understanding how the fry man your works or how to use the terminal in an Ubuntu server. This is the, the reason I did this is for that purpose in itself. So you should be able to pick this up and pick up this document and go ahead and install fry miner on in the Ubuntu server. Thank you guys for watching and I will follow up again on this um like the other the rest of mine my, my miners and another video to let you know how things are going. I'll run tests on this for the next week, but um let me know what you guys think. Another Fry crypto miner install on an Ubuntu 20.0.2 server. Thank you guys again for watching another one of my tutorial mining videos. Please like and subscribe and like always I'll see you next time.